I'm always getting questions about what makeup to wear with different dresses. So today I wanna to talk about what makeup to wear with a red dress. So there's three main options to choose from when you're wearing a red dress. You can either match it, so red on red. This is using a red lipstick to match the dress perfectly, but it has to match the tone perfectly, which I'll explain how to do in a second. Then you have your smoky eye. So red is such a bold color. You have to make sure that you're going for something a little bit more muted, but a smoky eye will add some nice balance to the look, provided you apply it with a nude lip. And then try smoky liner. This is a great way to add some shape and dimension to the eyes, and you can pair it with a nude lip or a natural lip. One of my favorite smush outliner looks is this one using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Master Series Palette. All you have to do is take a blending brush and apply a medium tone all over the lid and into the crease. Keeping with that same blending brush, you then want to take the deeper, warmer shade and apply this on the outer edge of the eye. Blending it then across the lid, but keeping the depth of shade on the outer corner. Taking the dark, almost black shade, we're going to apply this as if we're applying eyeliner, but we're going to smudge it as we go. And then taking a cleaner blending brush, we are going to take the lighter red tone and use this to lightly go over everything to create that smudgy effect. Whichever look you decide to do, you have to make sure that it works with the tone of red that you're already wearing. We have a true red, which is the most classic red red. It's not orange, it's not yellow, it's not blue, it's not pink. It's a neutral red. You then have your pink red, which has a blue undertone and is usually referred to as a cool red. And then you have your orange red, which usually has an orange or a yellow tone and is typically referred to as a warm toned red. For a true red, using a true red lipstick will definitely work. However, you can also go quite nude with this too, and it still will work. You just want to make sure you're keeping it within the neutral zone. And the same goes for your blush. If you are using a red lipstick, you want to make sure that you're keeping it quite muted on the cheeks. So opt for a very sheer blush or maybe just a little bit of bronzer. And also keep your eyeshadows nice and neutral. Not too warm, not too cool, somewhere in between. Moving on to a pink red dress. This one has a blue tone or a cool tone, and you wanna make sure that your lipsticks are remaining the same. So either match your dress perfectly or go for more of a pinky toned nude shade. Also on your cheeks, go for like a dusty kind of pinky tone. This is a great way to complement the pinky red. And then on the eyes, keeping that pinky tone as well. One of my favorite cool tone smoky eyes would be this one, using Silent Treatment by Wet n Wild. Take your blending brush and apply the transition shade in the crease of the eye. And then taking a slightly smaller brush, we're going to take the eyelid shade and apply this all over the lid. With a flat brush, we're going to take the crease shade, but this time we're keeping it on the actual lid itself and then very softly sweeping this into the lower part of the crease. I'm bringing this underneath the eyes as well. And with an even smaller brush, we're gonna apply the brow bone shade just underneath the brows. For the orangey red dresses with the yellow tones and the slightly warm undertone, we wanna keep the lipsticks the same. Choose a lipstick that matches it perfectly. Then keep your nude shades, whether they're light or dark, in the same orange or yellow undertoned theme. On the cheeks, I would really keep it quite muted with just a bronzy tone. And then the eyes, you can go nice and warm in order to complement the tones or keep it quite simple as well. One of my favorite looks that goes with pretty much everything is to start off with a nice neutral shade all over the lid, a bronzy tone in the crease of the eye, and you can then also bring this onto the lid a darker shade just on that outer corner, and then using a gorgeous highlighting shade with a golden undertone, apply this on the inner two thirds of the lid. Use a matte highlight underneath the brows and on that inner corner. And there you go, a classic golden eye makeup that would look great with a soft nude on the lips. 
So those are just a few options to choose from. If you have any more questions about wearing red, definitely let me know and I'll see you in the next one.